What's up out there, everybody? David Cravens with the Relentless Hope Podcast. When I go to get a new pair of sunglasses, there's only one sunglasses I choose, and that's Nevin Eyewear. We're proud affiliate and sponsored by them, and that's all you'll see us wearing. They're ready for land, air, or sea. If you break them or lose them, they replace them. Go there today, nevineyewear.com. More choices than you can shake a stick at. So don't forget, Nevin Eyewear. If you haven't seen the Butterbean, you don't know who Butterbean is, you're living under a rock. What? You know, Butterbean, back in the day, man, he was just the big dude with the bald head that just knocked people out. That you would look at like, what's this dude going to do? And he just, something, well, you know, he had some medical problems over the time, gained a, more weight. He was already a big dude. It's another thing there will be a link to the video of Butterbean Transformation. With DDP, why, and DDP heading it up, Josh was in the house with Butterbean and was probably, well, not probably, the closest with him out of everybody. Yeah, from day eating in, day out. to shoe shopping to working out to arguing probably to like a married couple and being there for to him. surgeries. And Come on. you know we did. We yeah, did argue like all, did. all of that. Sure. And Butterbean's awesome. Yeah. Um we got a song called Unstoppable where I Josh is in it. Like Josh Nair, I got my bows to the mat. Because yes. I couldn't touch my bows to the mat. And Josh like, Big Daddy just keep working. I'm, I will never I, yeah, I remember that. I was like, that I'll was never great. be able to do this. And I did it this morning. You know, five times. You know what I mean? But told you, DDPY works. You he is right. So there'll be a link for this, and there's also a show Change or Die that they filmed, uh -huh. a reality show where there's how many guests? Five. So it was five uh, that we moved into a yeah. house uh, yeah. just outside of Atlanta, right? And uh, I was the house dad. Mm -hmm. um, the house and dad. We we shot. It's actually a docu series. Yeah. I didn't really know what that was. You think about reality shows, yeah. And, uh, yeah, docu series is what they call so them. So the docu series really followed our interactions with all five of these folks. Mm. It's um, good. We've seen what three of them? I yeah, think three, I've four I've ever of them. Seen. Um, good, man. It'll be I nine. See all of it'll them. be nine or ten. I think more like nine episodes in total. They're shopping it now, so yeah. undoubtedly it'll it'll land somewhere. It's good. But Butterbean was uh, one of the five that moved into the house, and probably the most notable for mm -hmm. his career. Yeah. Um, and uh, so it was Butterbean. Uh, Mark Buff Bagwell uh, for the old Bagwell, uh, as for DDP Buff Bagwell. says. Buff Bagwell. For Shout the out, Buff. WMAs. Proud of you, man. Yes. On that sobriety, my amazing. brother. Doing I'm amazing. proud of you, man. So, and then three folks you never heard of before. Yeah. Right. And through the the weeks and months that we shot with them, so we all lived together. Everybody had separate rooms. But like we, unlike a Big Brother uh, episode or Big Brother, excuse me. Um, the weight loss shows that were, you know, mm -hmm. gaining popularity right. where you see people that, you know, running on treadmills and the trainers are basically whipping them. Like we wanted to show folks that you don't need to do that. Right. Right. And that, that proper nutrition and diet is the way to go. Key. Move your body. Right. So I had five folks that uh, I worked in concert with Dallas. Obviously it's his, his yeah, obviously. world. And, and so, but I was the day to day guy. Right. So we did two workouts a day with all five and they had to be separated and done individually because of the different challenges that each one right. of the cast members had. Right. And so I had a 22 year old kid at 513 pounds. You can imagine his challenges. And, you know, uh, we had an older, uh, 68 year old, mm -hmm. uh, lady that needed hip, uh, excuse me, knee replacements right. and, and, and her weight was compromised and, and she was really battling some challenges there. So, you know, we, we worked with these folks and cameras mm -hmm. followed us for, you know, followed every move that we did for four months. And I'm really, really excited. So to, for, for folks to see that you don't have to do that other stuff. Um, and no matter how bad you think you are, mm. you can start today. That's yeah. right. right. It doesn't, you don't need the, the first of the year, to right. make that change, no. man. You can grab it by the throat and do it today. Start. And what are we waiting for? Right? Yeah. right? Like, That's I'm not getting I any did. older. No yeah. excuses. Or getting any younger. younger. Right? Well, actually, you look a lot younger <laughs> since I yeah, seen you, you look last. look great, Josh. No facts. You do, Thank bro. You. Thank you. I mean, I came over and worked. That's that we beach came, life. We yes. came over. That's, that's that, that Florida life, life baby. That's it. Love we that came over and worked out with Josh on Hutchison Island where he does it over there. Beautiful little place, man. We just had a great weekend spent with him. Great time. Worked out. Probably... 
one of my favorite times on DDPY workout. Maybe just because right. we're Florida people too, and yeah, we were out like there, it. and just it was fun, man. But um, met some cool people. So yeah, you look great, by the way. Thank you. Josh Nair looks you. amazing. 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 DDPY will make you. You'll lose weight. You'll be running. You'll climb. You'll be like Spider Man. You'll smile and you're more. gonna look amazing. No, but go ahead. That's back, an echo pro. You're back right there. Yeah, right. So Bean and I, uh, we've worked together now for over two years. Um, he didn't stop with a couple of hip replacements. We kept going. He did. Um, Great story. And so man. that piece will show you. Uh, we released it on Super Bowl Sunday, mm -hmm. and it's, it's right it's around two and a half million yeah. just on YouTube. It's well over yeah. ten million across yeah, the board. Yeah, just for all of it. It's it's rather it's long. Man. It's eighteen bro. and a half minutes long. Um, but if you didn't know who Butterbean was, and maybe this piece intrigued you about this cat story, I can tell you it is. The, the the name of the show is called Change or Die, right. and he changed. Yeah, yeah for yeah. sure. And he's Facts. got a new lease on life. Yeah. Um, he he rolled me, up in a little scooter chair. Man. Yeah, right on. He right. needed two new hips. He was, right. kind, you know, it was just miserable. The pain that he was in yeah. on a daily basis was, I never worked with somebody that was in that much pain. Right. And the, the way he pushed through, the yeah. way he was willing to just work, yeah. man. And yeah. I get it because I'm a worker. And yeah. so if he was, we were done with his workout, he wanted to jump in with somebody else and get two in before 12 o'clock. Right. Wow. Right? And then get another one in. Yeah. Um, and that man was working hard. He put the work in. He How did, many pounds did he, he lose? 80 with us. And then he had to to get both hips. Right. Yeah. Right. He's never been under 300. Yeah. And now he lives at 280, anywhere from 280, mm -hmm. 285, something like wow. that. He's just a big frame dude. Yeah. Okay. yeah. He's his Fred frame. Flintstone. As Dallas says, he's, yeah. you know, you don't understand. He's, he's not. Man. Fred Flintstone, <laughs> right? His frame is bigger. Uh, he's an but, awesome guy. But that guy experience too. and working with him and 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 sort of that journey has been, you know, an absolute joy for me to, you know, um, to help him do the things that he wanted to do. Man, he said he wanted to get on the floor and, and play with his grandchildren. Yeah, oh, you know, I not necessarily fight that. again. Although, yeah, he wants he to still fight punch again. And he just called me, Jake Paul out again. Didn't well, he, yeah, so? I mean, we, we, I think, and now this is blasphemous, right? Mm. But I. I happen to think that not only would he humiliate Jake Paul, mm -hmm. uh, I think he's got With a shot punch. with Tyson. He'd have a shot with Tyson. Yeah. Tyson's not as tall as people think. Tyson's not as wide as people think. The way they shoot him, he looks like a superhero. Yeah. He looks like he's 6'6". Six, six. He's not. If he yeah. if he fought the right fight, you know. I think Bean could take it. Yeah. Bean's he called a technician. Him. Oh, yeah, oh he's, if he called him. It's over. I'm here I to tell you. I think he'd knock Jake Paul oh, out. Man. I can't stand His that. power. Oh, he still has it. Ridiculous. He still has it. No, yeah. no joke, because I caught one in the ribs a few right. weeks ago. <laughs> I trained with him. Yeah, but, I trained with him, yeah. So yeah. With, with all that, you've, you know, it, and it shows, man, how awesome DDP is. You know, he knew Butterbean from, like, wrestling stuff and yeah, just sure. in, in the spotlight. He trusted you, mm -hmm. you know, a lot. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously, he's spearheading it, bro. You know what I mean? And, and doing it. And he trusted you in doing it. That shows you that he knows – that you believe in his program, you learned his program because he don't just let anybody do. But mm -hmm. and he he takes it, you know. He's put his heart into it and his yeah. money and it and and see lights change. So that tells what DDP thinks of you yeah. to entrust you Thank in the house and and doing all that, man. Thank you know, and and just you know another great human being trusting another great human being to change people's lives, man. Right I mean, I can I can say for facts, you know, DDP. And, and you both have changed my life yeah. and my wife's life. Oh, and I'd already been sober years, but my mindset, I wasn't sober from food. Yeah. I yeah. just, I just traded one thing for another. Yeah. If I was right. And you had a bunch of, of traumatic events happen, you know? Oh, so yeah. I think at that time it was the perfect time for us because we just needed something to push us. You yeah. know, it was like we were going through the daily routine of working and fighting for kids and fighting to get a, another house, mm. but we need something to just kind of, have a release from all that, mm -hmm. right? And, and also start taking care of yourself. That, that was what it was. I was like, man, I went to put a pair of shoes on. And I, you, I mean, you know the story. I couldn't breathe, bro. I was like, I'm not going to see Jackson graduate. I'm going to die, yeah, bro. You I mean, nailed that on the head. I, I'd done, you know, it, it was take care of myself. I mean, I'd done, done enough curricular activities to call it kill a Clydesdale over the years. <laughs> you know what I mean? I love you, mom. But, and you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. I already, my heart has took a beating over the years. Yeah, right, you know right. what I mean? So I wasn't doing it. And I, I'm telling you, man, when I say this, and when I turned 50, you and Bean called and wished me happy 50th. Mm -hmm. And so did DDP, which, you know, I look like a little kid. She's got it on video. I'm like, you know what I mean? And that, so that was a bad, made me too. But 
um, so it changed my life. And I've seen you, and I know you, you know, obviously more than I know DDP. But, I mean, I know, I'm, you know, me and Dallas have talked and do whatever. Sure. I know one thing I always say is that DDPY, and, and speaking, you know, from the people that I've been in contact with from, instru- you know, a higher level, I guess, sure. you know, I don't know what you work for whatever, the company. Yeah. whatever. The, there's no motives. It, it isn't like, mm. you know, DDP makes all this money by you know. helping yeah, these no. people. Or it ain't like you. And, I, and I'm not saying you, that's why he does it. But I mean, I know for a fact that this program and people like you that are, are up, up top of the program, you know. They make it. They just it want is. to see people change their life. I've seen you be on group text messages mm-hmm. and and to working with people, and I've seen you taking calls and working with people in your time, and same thing with everybody else, because you want to see people's life, you know, change or die. I mean, it's I, that serious. I thank you. Um, folks ask me what to do all the time. Yeah. Um, and I. So I just want to help people. Yeah. And doesn't matter what kind of fancy thing they want to call me. Right. What they want to do. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. And I dig it. And sometimes it helps me uh, be able to introduce myself to folks that other or that otherwise wouldn't talk to me as just like, oh yeah, that's just a dude who yeah. does Works fitness out. or whatever. Um, a title with a director on it, folks pay attention. Right. Um, mm-hmm. my you know, being a master instructor, all that means is I'm still a student. Right. And like, I never stop learning. No. Um, I am proud to be able to have put in the work and the hours that it's taken to get here. But it just, for me, I mean, I, an amazing, you know, I'm one of five yeah. um, master instructors. So shout out to, to Hayden, Tom, Hayden. Marcel, um, Tom. and Paige, uh, Dallas's wife. Paige. Other, yeah. She'll bend four. like Gumby in certain areas yeah. that you can't. Put uh, your legs. I away. love Paige. I'm like, yes. John loves Paige's workouts. I'm like, it's just amazing. Hey, yeah, yeah, man. It's, it's very challenging. Yeah. Right? And so that, I think what that means is that we, we all take it very seriously and, right. and it doesn't really matter what you call us. We just yeah. want to be able to help folks no matter how I can. Right. Right. right? If it's resetting your mind, if it's teaching you about how your nutrition should be, mm. if it's correcting you in a movement that maybe. Mm-hmm you know, you could get more out of, right? Right. Maybe you do, you, you doing it right. Ish. Yeah. Right. And maybe ish. just that little tweak yeah. can, can help. Well, he did that yeah. on, yeah. the beach, on the beach. On the beach. Yeah. yeah and know? I welcome that. Cause yeah. you're like, Oh, okay. I've been doing it. Th- Cause yeah. and also I've learned, you know, doing the, the program is different people kind of everybody. You said this to me one time too, cause I was frustrated about something I couldn't do. You go, everybody's body's different. Yeah, for sure. There's going to be so things true. that you excel at, but you can get it. But you know, th- there's some people, I mean, I ain't doing my arms wrapped around crazy sideways. Well, right. I yeah. mean, you, you, yeah. we have limitations. Yeah, limitations. Right. And, and, and then comparing ourselves to someone else doesn't do any good. That's mm-hmm. that's what I love about the program. Yeah, you know, know, meet you where you are. Yeah, yeah. Meet you where you are. Make it, make it your right, own. Right. You know, I mean, that was so big to me through the beginning too. So yeah. if you're out there and you're like, oh well, but I'm not this DDP wise for everybody. Yeah. Man. For sure, it's and for everybody. We do things in a bed, in a chair. Yeah, a chair to there's stand no excuses and... that you can't work out. No, yeah, you know? not everybody has to look like this, right? Yeah, don't, right, right. And yeah. I, I did come to your point earlier. Yeah. I, my little journey was, you know, I was. How many I, pounds did you lose? Like seventy, seventy. Yeah. I mean, that's a lot. Of, that's a lot more of weight. More than that, uh, I don't know. I'm not yeah, but you're sure. like, you're like body but, fat zero. But but you, then, you know. like, all the things went away, right? So I was diagnosed at 32 with arthritic knees and ankles. Right. And when I had more weight on me, man, I. You know, a dry. Uh, excuse me, walking would oh, just yeah. would was bad. Let alone when I was still hooping or right, trying to be active. Right. You know, you go running around with your kids, and I got to put ice on my knees. When yeah, doing? yeah. We have theme parks. I remember we were talking oh, about that. You're like, I ain't going to a theme park. Exactly. I'm sitting on the like bench over there. there. You know. Yeah. Now I'm a, now I'm good. I yeah. You're right? Same thing with me. But, I rode all the roller coasters. I'm like, yeah, let's ride another one. Yeah, let's walk all day. Song. And I didn't. Um, I actually apologized to my kids for like not doing stuff. Me as too. Older. Bro. Like I took. Maybe let's not do something physical. Let's just sit here and do nothing and watch a movie yeah, or whatever right. so that I don't like have to be Like we're spending time active. together, but still you got, yeah. Yeah, and then once I did, I never looked back, right? So 
just try to put in as much work as possible. You don't have to be crazy like me. I mean, mm -hmm. I love this stuff so much. My body wants it. Yeah. It um, craves six it. Six days a week. It's weird, man. Yeah. It craves seven, it, bro. But I don't get bummed out if I have to take a day off either. All right. Yeah. Like recovery is a thing. Well, listen to your body. Absolutely. I mean, EDP Y says that. If yeah. it, that, that's pain, don't do it. You know yeah, what right. I mean? Like, like the stretches, body. like hit him and Paige and him do a lot. That helps us as a couple because for what you know, what we do for a living, yeah, man. For sure. yeah. it, it, I mean, not saying our job's any harder than everybody else's, but no, it, right. but it's, it's physical, it, it's physical man. Right. And it wears you out, and you're riding a lot in your knees. Those stretches, bro, yeah. like they're they yeah. change your life. But that's the thing, again, I love about the community in DDPY. It's like it meets you at your level, man. There ain't no egos, you know what I mean? You do you do what you do, you know, and, and it, it's and, it's and that's changed important my life, us, you know. Yeah. That, that I was asked earlier today, um actually at a conference call coming down, it was a Zoom call with a, with a business. I said, can you talk to us about your target demographics? And it's, you know, Hayden and I were on the call. We both sort of like shrugged our shoulders and said, yeah. I've taught as young as seven. Right. My oldest client was 94. Wow. She's no longer with us. Shout out Miss K. Miss K. Oh, she was K. awesome. My favorite classes that I've ever taught. I mean, I listen, right. I love Butterbean. I love right. doing all the things with the people. Right, and, right. And we'll talk about the, the, the beach workouts yeah. in a sec. But, like, my favorite thing I've ever done is is to teach chair workouts to senior citizens. Oh, man. yeah. Wow. How like cool that, is that, right? That, that, there is That'll nothing. put a smile on your face when you look. Uh, I mean, I, so I had two 90-year-olds, uh, right, and yeah. a group that were in their, like, mid to upper 80s. Wow. And there is nothing. Mm -mm like teaching these folk in a chair and i started with you know one class a week and then they wanted more so i ended up doing like four classes a right. week for wow. them yeah it was it was um, amazing, gratifying man. and it just shows you your know, heart though what you're i loved do, it you know? i loved it man and the and the progress that they were making yeah miss k could not remember my name but she could remember coming to my class four days a week right oh, that's awesome. Right? awesome yeah and then you know you're I, special man I, I just i dug it it you're a special a, dude. That's what I mean. Yeah. You're you're one of the, the best human beings, man, that I oh, know. And I thanks, hold brother. you close to my heart. As I do. I guys. really do. So let's do. get to now. Like I said, there's so much we could talk for hours and hours. If they knew me and Josh, or Josh, oh, I, I'm trying to work on my grammar. Josh and I Who's get on the phone, and I live in the swamp. So are like he's it's got true. his earbuds in, and he's going grocery shop. Whatever the time is that we catch up. Sometimes it might not be for a week or two weeks. Sometimes it might be twice in a week. It might not be a month, whatever. But when we get on the phone, we're like high school girls because we got so much we got to tell each other, you know. And locked in. Yeah, yeah, we get locked in, and we're just man. We talk. We might talk about sports. Then we're talking about this, and we're talking about life, and we're talking. It's just crazy okay. because he's just a, you know, I hold him dear to my heart. He's my buddy. And, you know, and then I'll be like, hey, bro, I need to switch this up. And he's like, what's your diet looking like, bro? You know, you're, you're at this level now. You're balking up doing weights, but are you doing this? And I'm like, yeah, man, I need to maybe bring it back. You know what I mean? He's mm -hmm. he's he's honest with me. And he's always like, thank you. this is this is one thing you told me that I hold on to a lot, too. He's like, you got to look at your body type. And when you look in the mirror, you know what I'm saying? You know, find you somebody who you know that you're, it's like your body type. I'm not going to look like Josh Nair. You know what I'm saying? He's, he's, he's slimmer. Bill, tall. he's taller. I'm, I'm more compact, hillbilly, right. like jammed people into. People get it twisted. Thing, they, you know, they they go to the gym and they think that they're going to work on the best version of themselves, and they don't know what that looks like. Yeah, exactly. and I don't want people. That was to what you told I think me. Comparing. Said. Yeah, it was. Yeah, I think comparing yourself to other people, strength wise, or other things that. You yeah. know, oh, I wish I could do. No, don't do that. Yeah. But have an idea of what your body can do. Right. You know, I, when I went through this, I was really fortunate that. I had a guy, the founder of the company, you had the man. that I could model my body after. Dallas and I are the oh. exact same height. My arms are a touch longer than his. You we some wear long the arms, same bro. size shoe. Right. I That's have crazy. taken hand me downs from Dallas Page right. gladly. By the way, he's got good and those are for sale on eBay. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, no. I'm just, that's um, a joke, no. DDP. But but you know the. <laughs> <laughs> I could make a little bit of money. Uh, it's hard out but, here but when you, but when you, right, if so, as a former athlete, right, for me, it was important to be like, okay, I think I could do that. Right. Um, but I wasn't going to try to look at someone who I was six inches taller than. Right. Or, you know, long-limbed athletes have a difficult, can have a difficult time in a gym. Right. I gotta yeah, be, because. You know, I yeah. got to put yeah. that weight, push that weight two, three times longer than. Longer than I, yeah. 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 Me, yeah. Further yeah. out. Right. Yeah, facts. yeah. And so as a result, I, you know, just because we got longer muscles doesn't mean that we're not as strong. No, right. so it's just different. I think a lot of folks that are taller 
you know, and I think it starts at like six one, six two. Right. Your weight, you you know, it's just like oh, I got to go to the gym and lift weights, but it hurts my elbows, it hurts this, it hurts. Right, this. it's different. Right. So, but I anyway, getting back to it, I had a really good model for yeah, for, you had the man for what bro. I wanted to do. Like, yeah. what could cool. I do when I kind of trim down? Right. I what do I know. do with this? That's right. What, you what am I going to do? What am I going to do with this? You right. Said, yeah. And I don't think people realize like. Don't sell yourself short when you are in this journey. Like, you don't know what your body looks like Man. when you strip it down. Right. That's right. And so for all the folk that I want to make sure I say this, um, if I can, for all the folk that are, you know, I'm going to the gym, I'm trying to do X, Y, and Z, and it's taking forever. It's because you're trying to do two different things and your body is I've had this just kind of go on pause, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, this is not a company statement. This is Josh. Yeah. Um, I would rather see folks deal with one before we deal with the other. Mm -hmm. And again, I've had this conversation with <laughs> to, and no He's one in the history of no one, uh, excuse me, no one in the history of ever has ever said to me, yeah, I want to take, yeah, I want to take like three years to lose these hundred pounds. Right. Like, let's not do that. Right. right. And so I think when we, when we start to chisel away, um, we start to see when we peel off the layers, we start to see what our musculature actually looks right. like. Yeah. Like That's everybody's true. got the roadmaps, man. Yeah. It's just a matter of yeah. how lean you want to get. Different. Yeah. Right. And you can be muscular. So I see a lot of folks going to the gym and they're busting their butt to go yeah. to the gym and they're trying to diet. Very simply put, like it cool. If you want to build muscle, that's great. But right. What's your goal? Yeah, you're going to compete? What's your overall what, goal? What are you going to try to do? You want to feel good? You want to look good? You want to yeah. yeah. What are you doing? Listen, shout out to like the folk that want to put that work in. And the older you get, man, should you want to do competitions? That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. That's yeah. not for me, though. Each right. person's got to have their goal and know, and map it it's out. Like but it yeah. starts sure. with you can run. And I ran into this myself, you know, when I slacked up on some of the DDP or doing, and was hitting the gym a little more. Always power cuffing. But doing it, my certain areas. But then some stuff, I, you know, I still got to work on that. Yeah, you know what sure. I mean? And and we had that talk. What's your overall goal? And this is what you're you're going to hit a wall. You know what I mean? Yeah. It, it it is what it is. Yeah. So mm -hmm. we're getting we're going to wind down here, man. Like I said, there's going to be links in there for everything, and and I encourage you to go watch Josh and DDP story where they tell how they met and you know the whole. You got a little bit of it. The butter bean. We'll have links to DDPY. We'll have links to Josh Nair's What about the beach socials. workouts? That's where we're going. That's where we're going. Thank you, dear. I love you. <laughs> my little, my <laughs> savage wife. Uh, she's the best. No, man, I would, I'd be dead, man. Jesus and John, bro, I'd be dead or in prison. <laughs> but if I didn't have them, that's facts. That's not endorsed by DDPY. <laughs> but, uh, endorse it. but Josh <laughs> knows it's the truth, daggone it. He's been with He's me outside me the of this podcast. To spit yeah. for him, that's so right. No, that. but... um. So tell them about the DDPY because, you know, you're in Atlanta a lot, back yeah. and forth, because that's where the PC is, and yeah. we love Smyrna. I, there's uh, nothing like going to the DDPY, uh, I love you know, it. to the PC, bro. Yeah. There's nothing like it when you walk in. There's an energy, bro. Yeah. I remember the first time I walked in there, I tried not to fanboy. I'm actually got a picture, and I'm about 50 pounds more, and I'm like, you DDP, ain't you? And and then the next one, I'm standing next to him. I'm a little more I'm like, I feel better yeah. being around. Yeah, for but sure. There was nothing like, there's nothing like going there working out. Yeah. And, oh, and I would say as an instructor, uh, as a teacher, as someone who loves this program, like there ain't no better place to teach. Oh, yeah. I love it's just an the, energy. I mean, when I tell a group that size to take a deep breath and I can feel the breath in the room, I don't mean to be Zen or spiritual because we're not. But right? how cool but is that? But it's cool. Yeah. It's really, it's cool. It's yeah. really cool. And so... Let's tell how you're bringing that with the Josh Nair flip side on yeah, this sure. down here to Florida, man. Because we're this right is where on. we're at in the Sunshine State, baby. We're down here, and Josh I'm is on the it. other coast, which not from where we're in Naples, so he's a little further. But from my house to go to Josh's island, I cut through the back road, and it's about two hours. You're about yeah, two about some two, hours, not yeah. far really, and just straight back to an island. And it's amazing. I love that little Beautiful. island, bro. Like Thank I love you. we had people peaceful. are so cool. Everybody's cool and going there. It, tell them what you're doing over there. How you're bringing DDPY well, down sure. here to the normal folks? For man. sure. Thank you for uh, teeing it up. It's it's Hutchinson Island South, which is about an hour and 10, 15 minutes north of West Palm Beach. Right. Um. In the so technically in Fort Pierce City, but it is a little tiny island with uh, one. Well, we have one stoplight and two roundabouts, mm -hmm. and um, a lot of bars. And a lot of bars. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, and I and I do. Well, I work in concert uh, yeah. as sort of a you know a fitness person in residence, a yogi in residence at yeah. two bar restaurants because yeah, it as works. I mentioned earlier with that you know that community build. Um, so uh, I in teaching in public and wanting to teach, uh, I think really 
step got stepped up when I went to some other markets and I saw like in Tampa, mm-hmm. I saw in you know in Miami and yeah. Fort Lauderdale, people right. are everywhere doing stuff, right. being active and fit. Yeah. And yeah. Getting out. Right. Why are we not in my yeah. little town? Exactly. And people start shrugging their shoulders. Nobody had a good answer for me, and so I was asked to teach uh, in a group out in public, and so I decided to do it for free, mm-hmm. and I still do it for free. Yeah. Um, so on my socials, I always announce when the classes mm-hmm. will be. Just had one last night. I call them the sunset session. Oh, so we yeah. do, we're going to get over to one. We, we haven't do them to get right to that on the water, yet. and it is um, it's an unbelievable crew of people that that have started showing up. It's a different crew than I've had in a minute. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so that that community build is always forever changing. Right. And um, I'm well aware that folk are there for the experience. Mm-hmm. I'm just there to not screw it up and yeah. hopefully Man. get everybody oh, a good workout. You don't workout. give yourself enough credit. You don't give, yeah, and he it really, always says that. You're so humble. It that, really, you thank it. you. It, but it really, though, I think, um, again, like, folks, if you're doing something once a week, I hope you have a good time. That's, yeah. Right? If that's, you ride your bike, fun. if you're... If you want to, yeah. and and in the and you think you're doing something for the good of your wellness and right. and, and your physicality, and you're doing it once or twice, your weekend warrior. Right. I hope it's fun because it's a hobby. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Don't get it twisted. Right. Three times a week is when you start feeling better. Four to five times a week is when your body starts changing. Mm-hmm. Six to seven days a week, you will own yeah. your life. Right, baby. Straight up. Come on. And right. so, that's. We try to demystify stuff as much as possible. Yeah. No matter what you do, I'm not advocating. Especially, yeah, of course, I want everybody to do DDP yoga because I think right. it's good for everybody. It is. But it's crazy. No matter what, everybody you, should do it. What, whatever turns you on, man. Whatever it is that you do, whether it's bike riding, walking, you know, do it with some purpose. And right. you know, if you want to know more about it, I hate to sound like some you know big advertisement. No, it's but an like advertisement. It changed our lives. No, it's an and, advertisement. I do it on here. All, if you I watch can, the podcast. It, I say it all the people that say, "Oh, well, you did no man." I believe in it, yeah, bro. And when I believe in something, that's the thing. You know I what I mean? It, I, I stand behind it. Yeah, and it's real. Right? Yeah, and you it can't you can't fake authenticity. No, nope. no. You know what I'm saying? That's why it no. says 100 percent authentic on the palm of my hand. See, and that's some that's yeah, you know what I mean. Stuff right, but right there, but you can't. And but that's what I knew. That's why. That, why did I write a song two, three months in DDP? Because I go, mm. whoa. I'd watched the videos. I knew, you know, I'd watched, you know, the documentary Relentless. And I'd always been a fan. And, and, and our name's Relentless Hope, so Relentless popped up. But once I started doing it, I said, Game changer. This is, this is real, bro. And that's why you just you just want people to, to come out and do it. Bro. Yeah, that's it. You that's know? why I did, um, most recently, I moved... Uh, from you know just a couple times to much more frequency for people to get mm-hmm. to that point. Like if I'm going to talk about it and I don't offer classes, well then then you're just talking that's about twisted. it. Oh, yeah. That's twisted. That's a little. Like that. That's I shouldn't. Right. And and at the same time, I do advocate people downloading our app. Right. Because if you don't have me or another instructor near it's you, right there. It's you can easy. fill in the gaps with this stuff, and you don't have to go to the gym. The great you can app. Take this and do it. Yes. At home. Well, I mean, yes. we did it in but our little bitty hotel this morning. Oh yeah, you yeah. Know, yeah. Hotel. Yeah, a hotel sure. this morning. Phone down and, and, and did a, about down. an hour, almost an hour workout. That's it. And, I'm and, so and, proud of you. And too. feel and feel and I feel good. And that's what we do if if we can't. You, you know, we always. You know, our garage is pimped out. And do it. we sometimes we'll do it wherever. Get it so in. the app. You know, if if you're not if you're in Florida. Anywhere from what? What's up from you, West Palm? I mean, as down. far as I mean, the three-hour drive. Unless yeah. you're nuts, you want to do a five to eight-hour drive. Man, I from drove Panama up. City. Yeah, I drove yeah. up to Atlanta to do a workout, yeah, right and on. once I yeah. did it, you're like, and I'll, I'll drive over there because yeah. if you're anywhere in that vicinity and you're like, ah, what are they talking about? Go try it. I mean, drive down. Yeah, yeah hit me a up live on, workout. Uh, on you know any of the socials who post Instagram. And yeah, Facebook. it's Just there's nothing. Up. I mean, you're doing a live workout with. Not the man, but the man right down with the man. You know what I mean? Like, it, you know, right down because, you know, doing a workout with DDP, you're like, whoa, this dude just killed me and he's 68 years old. Wow. Legend, That's right? facts. I yeah. mean, facts, dude. Or I just remember we filmed one and then we got done and I was struggling <laughs> on the stage, sweating, looking like I'm constipated. And then then he gets all done and he goes, all right, we're going to film another one. All right, one. this is DDP. I'm like, whoa. Same. And and same thing with Josh, you know, when you're doing it. So, if if you're anywhere near Hutchison Island South, get on his Hit socials, the link below. Go over there and try it out. And if you're thinking, hey, this isn't for me, I used to think it wasn't for me either, mm. but it is. Yeah, don't so, be scared of the word yeah. yoga. Don't, and, and check yeah. it out. Don't be scared. Watch no. these links. And if you're not, if I don't care if you're in Illinois, New York, 
get on the app and watch these links yeah. and, and try it out. It will change your life. And I, and I believe in turning people on to what it is that we do. So yeah. serious biz, man. If you guys have a question, anybody has a question, obviously you can hit these guys up, hit me up. Um, but I just think everybody, it's got a purpose and, uh, to get in everybody's life one way or the other. That's right. right. The and the more we talk about it, the better it is. Yeah. And before we jump, thank you for having me. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. You know, I got love for both of you, but I am thank so you, proud of the two of you. Yay, man. Thank you, For all the you, stuff bro. that you're doing. Yes. Yeah. For the family that you have, yeah. for the kind of parents and people that you are. Oh, thanks. You know, me. folks need to know who you are, and it's inspirational mm -hmm. to me. Don't cry. You know, keep doing your thing. Couldn't be more proud. Oh, straight man. up. It gets me choked up sometimes. Because yeah. when I started working with them, they were just as dope as they are today. Mm -hmm. And to see that more people are listening to this positivity and this good stuff, and it's okay to have this positivity yeah. as a new addiction. Yeah, right? absolutely. Yeah, man. And, you know, we replace sort of one thing with another. Yeah, facts. And DDP Yoga is that thing. That but, is. Our, but our family and our friendship means so much to me. And yeah. I, and I, I very much appreciate y'all having man. me to talk about it. I love y'all both. Josh, thanks you, for Josh. coming over. It's been a long time coming. We just keep, yeah. we had to make it work out. And he got up, made the trip. So we're happy we get to spend the afternoon with him and just, just hang out with him. But Josh, for all, in all reality, I'll cry, bro. You know, I got nothing but love for you, dude. And I know for a fact that everything that you say and you do is because you want to see people's lives change. Yeah. You know what I mean? And and that's a fact. And same thing with DDPY, man. You know what I mean? Oh, look, we're, we're criers. There's a lot of criers in DDP. Well, DDP is a crier. Yeah. Where do you and, see yeah, change the dog? And, and you know why? I think I'm that's passion. Every, I, I, you know, I used to think it was weak to cry, episode. but that's passion, no, man. That's like, dude, yeah. you know, I, I could be dead. How many people could be dead if they didn't start DDPY? Like, yeah. I mean, we could rattle off the names in the whole community that that just that we know since we've been in there, right? I find it hard sometimes to watch some of the video back because I get so emotional. Yeah. And if yeah. I, even if I've seen it 10 times, I still like... Still a tearjerker. It, yeah, because... You know, number one, like pe folks, troubles and their challenges um, to get right and tackle them, right. whatever they are, right, is one thing. And right. then for it to work and then to think that you had some small, see, now you get me. Yeah, part of it. Like some small part of it is, uh, I mean, it that's the best. changes your yeah, life. Stuff. You play a big part. And you play yes. a big part, man. And like I said, DDP being the guy he just passes that down get one of the best human beings in the world Thank in your army you. it changes yeah. it changes life you've changed my life yes. ddp wise changed my life and you you've personally you changed my life you know and, and we always make a joke you know i'll be there in pajama pants in 7-eleven parking lot <laughs> and we won't even ask who, whose car we're taking you know that's what it. i mean we always make that's the it. Joke. there's a handful of cats yeah. you can call at three o'clock in the morning yeah. who ain't gonna ask you any questions yeah, that's you right. take whose care car? And, and that's how you know, and it's funny that we we talk about stuff. It ain't like me and Josh agree on everything in life, but we agree on more than we don't agree. So what do we do? We focus on what we agree, and it, it's like yeah, stop fighting. It's amazing. People. Yeah, yeah, man, stop fighting. Life's too season. short. Please, yeah. I don't Come mean on. to sell yeah. a soapbox, but yeah, like but it yeah, we, just, it gets, yeah, you gotta it gets agree old. with everything yeah. somebody says, but you also shouldn't cut somebody out of your life for. Yeah, for a, it's just crazy. I disagree. It's crazy, yeah, and, right? and we we totally we're like, yeah, man, we love everybody. And um, if That's I don't it. agree with you, and but if you're not That's positive right. and trying to help other people change, then you're not in my life too much anyway. So the Relentless Hope Podcast, my homie Josh Nair, we got nothing but love, endorsed by Relentless yes, Hope, DDPY. We love y'all, Paige, Boy. DDP, everybody back in Smyrna and all around. Click the links. Thank you guys. We're almost at 100K subs on YouTube. It's like crazy. Yeah. We're rounding up. I, I'm, I'm still humbled when Jackson or we look and they tell me. So we love you guys. Clean calls, Nev and I wear DDPY. Josh Nair, we're out. Let's Peace. Go. See you. Bang. <laughs>